Hey guys, Luke here with Chris. Uh, we're going to address a big problem that people have with knee pain when it comes to getting around day to day. We get people every day that come in and say to us, steps cause me problems. Steps make my knee hurt, going up, going down, it hurts, it always hurts. Now, a big part of the process of the knee program that we run here is to improve how you initiate movement, to improve how you move so you mitigate the amount of stress on your knees when you're doing day-to-day -day activities. Now, when we talk about stepping, a major problem we see with people's pattern of stepping, which is only a problem once you start to have pain, okay? You don't have to be running around telling your grandkids they're stepping wrong when they're going up and down the stairs, or your kids. But once you've got knee pain, we want to minimize the amount of stresses on the knee with day-to-day -day activities. So when you go up and down the steps, doing it this way, which looks pretty innocuous when you look first, knee comes forward and your body stays nice and upright, all of the stress is going through the knee. So you go to push up, stand up off the step, and the knee takes all of the stress. As opposed to this little happy man over here on the right, where the shin stays a bit more vertical and we're driving up with the hips. So there's a bit more of a levering effect from the hips using your backside muscles, using hamstrings to help drive you up the step versus your knee pushing you up a step. So to give a real life example of this, Chris is going to run through a couple of examples. So I'll come on this side. So from front on, the most common problems we see is that as, the, as Chris starts to step up, his knee comes forward and caves in. No good. This puts a lot of stress on the inside compartment of the knee, which we definitely don't want. The other problem that we see is people shifting their hips over and keeping their knee where it is. So you'll see as soon as he does that, his pelvic alignment drops, it all sort of falls to pieces, and there's this same twisting effect at the knee. If you turn side on, facing this way, from the front, what people like this little guy over here are doing, he's staying really forwards and coming straight up and down as he steps. So the shear stress is way out through the front of the knee. Now if Chris takes that position, keeps his knee just a little bit more vertical here and lets his torso tip over and then pulls as he drives his hip through. So he's feeling like he's pulling his heel down into the box and driving his hips up and through. There's very little stress on the knee in that position. He's driving all of the power of that stepping action, moving his body weight from his posterior chain or from his glutes and his hamstrings. So the stresses come down immediately. So this is a really important element to improving the amount of pain you experience day to day. When you're going up or down the stairs, try to keep your shin as vertical as you can. It'll mean you have to hinge at the hip a little bit and you'll feel a bit weird going up and down the stairs with a tip like leaning forward. But as you get more comfortable with it, you'll be able to do it without that lean forward and it'll make you able to do a lot more activity with a lot less pain on your knees.